My name is Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Guys, it's another installment of Late Night Snack Time with you, the Scoville Squad. Here we are together again. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys recognize that? Mad Cow, uh, Tad and Kit, my friends, they've sent me something neat. And I have a letter. You guys know how much I love a letter? I love a letter stained with peppers. I put that pepper stain on there though, not that. All right, you guys, listen to this. Hello, Johnny. We hope this finds you well. I've been watching and enjoying your pod challenge with David. And I wish I still had the spunk in the stomach of the past to participate in those great endorphin rushes. But I realize the chilies of today are far hotter than the chilies of the 90s. The habanero and the scotch bonnets were a king. Imagine the day when the habanero and the scotch bonnets were the hottest peppers. Whew. We would need a 55-gallon chum bucket. <laughs> Kit and I are back in the R&D kitchen and have come up with a potential new snack for the bus. And we wanted your opinion. You got it. Enclosed is a sample pack of Del Fuego, butter toffee peanuts, sweet and hot. We are planning half pound bags as they tend to be pretty addicting and release in the next month. Enjoy, much love to you and the bus, Tad and Kit. You guys are awesome and look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Can't really tell. You'll see in a minute. Here are the ingredients, people. Uh, peanuts, honey, butter, salt, mad cow, hot sauce, and spices. And I would be a fool if I didn't uh, talk now about Harvest uh, 912. Uh, Harvest 9... Is, yes, Harvest 912. They, they have a, a non-profit organization where they help people that are not as fortunate as you and I. And this is really important to me. I, You know... One of my great friends in college is a guy named Adam. I've never mentioned him on the show before. But he was a really close friend of mine. And he mentioned, he said to me once, I was going through some struggle, I mentioned to him, and he said, hey man, I cried because I had no shoes until I met a man who had no feet. And I'll never forget that. It was, you know, you hear things in your life and it just was super impactful. In that moment, I was just like, and it really had an impact on me. And what Tad and Kit are doing is they're putting shoes on the feet of people that are less fortunate than you and I. And everybody's less fortunate than you and I. You need to know that. I heard I was in a church service maybe a decade ago, and it still holds true today. It said, if you slept with a roof over your head last night, you ate something yesterday, and you have a dollar to your name, you're better off than 80% of the planet. So we're going to help out people who are less fortunate than we are. We're going to let Tad and Kit facilitate it. All right, we're flavor and heat meat. This is their Del Fuego, which is fine. Uh, butter toffee and peanuts with Carolina. No tear. Carolina Reaper. I gotta cut this thing open. Oh, forget it. Forget it. My bad. All right, so not only is it in this cool bag, but inside the bag, it's in this beautiful little airtight vacuum pack seal. All right, so I'm gonna cut this thing open and dive into this Del Fuego butter toffee peanuts. Carolina Reapers. Man, this place I'm staying with is kind of cool. It's a great location. If I ever get attacked with somebody with a knife, I want it to be this knife or a knife from this apartment or whatever. Oh, I get that caramel, or caramelized aroma, peanuts caramelized. You're definitely picking up some heat. Just got a text message. Let me see this real quick. Okay, okay. All right, guys, uh, from Tad and Kit, Mad Cow. This is their Del Fuego Butter Toffee Peanuts with Carolina Reaper. Let me give you a better look at what this looks like. Just yummy looking. Ah, here we go, you guys. Thank you, Tad and Kit. I'm Johnny Scoble, and this is JC.
I wickedly approve. Great. Uh, you really have that toffee flavor, the buttery toffee that was so good. Now here's the great thing about this. This is, this is not, a, a, as it is now, unless they change the recipe, this is not a snack for extreme hardcore chili heads. If you're just somebody who's kind of getting into it, you're gonna like this. You're gonna get the Carolina Reaper flavor and some heat, but it's not gonna be punishing like you ate a pod, you know? Um, and with most snacks, what happens is that the more you eat it, the heat reps, reps up, but the minute you stop eating it, the heat drops quickly. Much different than if you eat a pod. You eat a pod, you're committed for a while. So there's great butter, butter toffee flavor, um, great peanut flavor. The Carolina Reaper is in there beautifully. Sometimes, toffee's a weird deal. Let me tell you something about toffee. I think I may have mentioned this on a previous show. Um, to, you get toffee that's, and it's all how you cook it. If you cook it, if you don't mix it or cook it right, then it ends up giving your jaw a workout, sticks to your teeth, and it's just brutal. If you do it right, it's crunchy, it's delicious, it's not gonna stick to your teeth and just, this is really, really good. Um, it's really, really good. Um, so, tag and kit. You have, uh, I think, the riders on the bus, my family is gonna, are gonna love this. It really is yummy. I think probably one of the better things that you're doing, um, just keep making what you're making. They'll keep experimenting and keep developing new products. Um, but, um, as long as I say. Oh, whatever you do, keep going with the, the Harvest 912, putting shoes on feet. You know, I don't know if you guys remember this, but they mentioned it in one of the previous things that they're going to get a bus. Our bus is going to help them get a bus, and their bus is going to have a podiatrist on there. Tons of shoes, and they're going to go to impoverished areas and help people and put shoes on feet. You know, when I was a kid, I remember getting hand-me-downs, shoes and everything. Help somebody get a pair of shoes. This is a pretty cool thing. And every time you buy something from Mad Cow, you're helping Harvest 912. And I know that... The Skull of a Squad is about other people. It isn't just about us. It's about, I mean, the whole reason that the Chase Eat started was for other people. It's for you. So we want to give back. So help out. These are great. These are good people. Tag and Kit, thank you so much. Great flavor on this. Let me go uh, to Tommy's Fix, people. Where is it? Come on, Tommy. Where, where, where are you? I saw you just a minute ago. There you are, Tommy. I think I haven't read this. Here's the problem. You know, one of my problems is I never read over Tommy's picks. But you know what I did? I started reading over a couple of them. So then when I look at them, I'm like, did I, did I already do this? Because it looks familiar. I can't remember if I already read it already. So I'm going to do these Tommy's picks. I don't think I've read it already. If I did, actually, I know I did. Chi Chi. I'm also scared of getting lost. <clears throat> or did I read this? Man. I'm just going to read it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm also scared of getting lost. I tend to go off the trails and explore through the forest. I found beautiful things, clearings amongst the trees. I found many pretty little creeks and streams. Some have been deep enough to swim. I've also gotten lost in my exploring. It's easy to get turned around in the, for in the forest. I did get scared, but then I remembered the way the sun sets in the sky, where it sets and where it rises, and that helped me find my way. I'd still be wandering around out there, Chi Chi. Chi Chi, I don't think we're talking about the same kind of fear. So I think I would... Oh, wait, you know what? I think maybe did read this. Man, I'm going to keep reading. If I read this already, I, am, I apologize, man. So anyway, uh, Chi Chi, I don't think we're talking about the same kind of fear, so I think I would use you as, uh, I would use you to humiliate my brother. There were times growing up on the way to Florida on long road trips uh, from Vermont, like a 24 hours in a car driving nonstop. Johnny would be asleep, snoring, asleep like you see in the movies, and Mama Scoble would whisper to Papa Scoble, he's sure we're on the right road. At which point our bus driver, me, would sit up, um, where is it? Would sit up like someone, uh, like someone, like someone hit them with an electric shock of 220 volts and scream, are we lost? What, we're lost? Did you say we're lost? Are we lost? 
In fact, when GPS first came out, Mama Scoville mailed one to Johnny, and you would have thought he gave him the keys of Fort Knox and a 40-minute pass to steal whatever he wanted. It's a wonder he doesn't sit in the cockpit trying to ask the pilot if he's sure where he's going. That's just because they locked that door, dude. If they didn't leave that door locked, I'd be up there going, are you sure? Because I see a plane going that way, and you're going that way. Shouldn't you be going that way? Kitty has fangs. I'm not a chili head at all, but I love wasabi, though. And I'm on the bus because I'm fascinated by you, David, and Big Al. I've seen many people eat certain peppers and lose their minds over the heat, sweat and cry, but you are so calm, it's a sight. First of all, I love that Kitty has fangs, and everybody on the bus knows how I feel about the people on the bus who are not chili heads. Kitty, you have done uh, as well as anyone describing the fun that people can enjoy in spite of the fact that they're not chili heads. And they're highlighting Johnny's superpower. Allow me to take this moment to toot my own horn. I recently ate a tube. I did read this already. Forgive me, guys. I think I did. Um, I recently ate a tube of terror in a speed run in 43 seconds. And that is faster, way faster, by the way, than my brother has ever done it. However, uh, if you ever see me doing it, you're going to see that there's a really big difference between how I eat something hot and how my brother does. And that is why Johnny is who Johnny is and why I... I'm sorry, my brother, you're a legend. See, I definitely go this before. Stop doing that. Love you, though. Uh, Gary Ping, what's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? And finally, Johnny, I know this is something you've answered before. I know the answer you're going to say, but I think it's important every once in a while for the new people on the bus to allow you to answer questions that just need to be answered. So if you don't mind, tell us again, Johnny, what is the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? Let me do this real quick. All right, the spiciest thing I've ever eaten. All right, as far as just uh, SHU, I have the hottest SHUs you can get with peppers is 16 million Scoville. I have ingested 16 million Scoville. I did it with Brianna Skinner in uh, Australia. Back when I used to drink, put it in a shot glass, rolled it around, drank it, and then I put some on my thumb like that. Um, so I, I've done 16 million. So by the numbers, that is the hottest. However, I will tell you that plutonium-9, drinking a whole bottle of plutonium-9, burned me way more than, and that's only 9 million, burned me way more than the 16 million capsaicin. So that's what it is. Now, as far as uh, so hot sauce, doomed is the hottest hot sauce I have ever ingested, made by Hellfire Hot Sauce. Amazing sauce. I think it's 2.76 million Scoville heat units, lab tested with the results on the bottle. Killer. As far as the hottest pepper I've ever eaten, the hottest pepper I've ever eaten is a primatale. Not sure if it's originating creator. Don't know. Don't care. It's a great pepper. It's the hottest pepper I've ever had. And um, I think that'll do it. Hey, you know what? Keep the questions coming. I love you. If this, if I read this already once, man, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'll try not to do that again. But you guys are great. Have a spectacular day today. It's going to be an exciting day today. It's nighttime snack video. Excuse me, you guys. Enjoy your evening today, but tomorrow make it really neat. Go out and tell somebody you love them. Make a difference in somebody's life. Do that. Because that's what we do. We help others. All right there's our pepper. Click that pepper when you do. You're on the bus. If you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. You won't, especially if you come back and visit us 8, noonish, and 9, which is when we upload. Right there, our League of Fire. More videos there. Have a great night, you guys. Make tomorrow special. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was JC.